Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Be Messy and I do everything from cleaning videos to literature and lifestyle and even beauty. I am a licensed esthetician as well as a published author of the young adult novel Red Siren. If you would like to know more details about that book, the details are in the description down below as well as a link to purchase it and a link to my website. So. So today, I thought that I would do a long-awaited review of The Black Cauldron by Lloyd Alexander. So I finished this a couple months ago, and I never got around to filming the review because I just didn't know quite how I felt about it. And so I kind of wanted to sit on it and just really kind of meditate on it. Since then, I have finished the third book in the series, Castle of Lear, so that review I think I'm going to be filming after this one. But for now, let's go ahead and just focus on The Black Cauldron. The Black Cauldron is the second book in the Book of Three series. The Book of Three um, follows Taryn, Gurgi, Ilongwi, and a bard named... I forgot what his name was. <laughs> um, but anyway, it follows them on this quest to um, save Prithden, which is the universe and the continent that they are on, and they go on this grand adventure. I know Disney has done a movie about it, so I kind of compared it to the movie. And so the movie is actually called The Black Cauldron, even though this is the second book of the series. So I did say in that review, I'm interested to read The Black Cauldron to see if they pulled anything from this book into the movie to see if it was any to see if it was similar so I'm gonna go ahead and get into it so it basically starts pretty much I think a few months after um, the book the first book ends. so you see Taryn on the farm you see Henwen and he's giving Henwen a bath and all of a sudden these people just start showing up at the farm and one of those characters is, oh, the um, bird's name is Flutoflam. Don't know why I did it. I don't know. Okay, so I believe it's Ely Deer. Ely Deer. Um, that's that's how you pronounce it in the back. So it's Ely and then Deer. Um, so if I mispronounce that, I'm sorry. That's kind of a complicated thing. So anyway, so he meets this. Um, almost prince-like character and he's very very snobbish immediately I disliked him he's a he's meant to be a dislike character basically um so basically what happens is there's a whole thing with prince um Adion Adion kind of calls for a council at um Car Dalbrun Car Dalbrun I don't know why these names were so difficult for me um but basically um he goes on about how the how they needed to go on this quest uh for the black cauldron and the black cauldron is something that um what um the main villain of the series um i think his name is nubian no arwen I think his name is um it's it's and again names are all very similar so um so they go into um basically his castle they come up with this big plan about how they're gonna take the black cauldron and the black cauldron is um this huge kind of not a weapon but it's being used like a weapon it's being made to make the cauldron born and the cauldron born cannot be killed and the more of them that are um like slain, um, the stronger they become. Or maybe I'm getting that mixed up, but it's been a second and I don't have my notes. But um, basically, um, I believe it's just the cauldron born. It's like dead bodies go into it and they come back like zombies. They can't really die and they serve, um, you know, King Erwin. So I, um, the first portion of this book goes by very very quickly which very which surprised me because I mean I thought it was gonna be um basically like 
the road leading up to it and then a big battle and that's not how this book planned out which I kind of appreciated it was definitely something different um, in a familiar way so the plans kind of get sidetracked they get kind of they get there and the black cordon's not there so they have to go on a quest to find it they get separated um, there's a lot of backstabbing involved and I don't know I, I really really liked it I liked how all the characters from the first book came back but added some more I really really appreciated Taryn in this book he did a lot of learning and um, growing in this book from the very beginning as a reader as even a writer I can see how he and this other character who was his age, who was being very snobbish and saying, you know, you're just an assistant pig keeper, but I'm um, the son of so-and-so and I have this pony that's really, really cool. So Taryn has to, it's very, I can see a lot of kids relating to it. Um, Taryn kind of gets bullied by this kid, um, but he's like, well, I'm, I'm just as worthy as you are. You know, I was, um, I went on that journey, I saved, you know, everybody. I was the one who um, killed the Bone King, I forget his name, because again, I mean, I'm on the fourth book, so I haven't really, these characters, some of the villains don't come back, so, um, nor do they get talked about. So, he killed, you know, the biggest villain that everyone was kind of terrified of, and so it was a a pretty big deal and so with that he's like no I've, I've earned my place I, I have just as much right to be here as you and this character again just stabs him in the back and goes out on them on his own that doesn't work well for him and um, Taryn and his friends um, Taryn grows a lot in the sense of he he, he and this character will fight a lot and there's a lot of trying to prove yourself and trying to do it for his ego and he kind of comes into himself that like I don't need to do that I don't need to prove to you that I'm worthy to be here because I am and he learns a lot of lessons from the character that I really enjoyed reading about I won't give too much away but they end up finding the Black Cauldron and they end up kind of losing the Black Cauldron and I really liked the twist at the end. I liked how you didn't see it coming and I also really liked how it kind of mimics your life. Um, and again, I, I saw parallels to uh, The Lord of the Rings in this. So I, I definitely, I don't know why I keep, I keep thinking about Lord of the Rings with this. But, you know, you see somebody as good and they are literally battling to be good and they're, they're, the, they're the good guys. And then you give them what you want and you give them the thing that they've been looking at to destroy and lo and behold you just gave over the ring to Saruman. And so that's not what happens but very similar um, something like that happens and I really really liked it. Um, what I didn't like about it was the character of Elidur. Elidur I think his name is I don't know. Sorry, I really didn't like him. Um, I know that he was supposed to be a character that we were not supposed to like. I know that he was supposed to be the villain. I really didn't like him. And maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a props to Alexander. But I, I hated that character and I hated who he made Taryn. But at the same time, I do see how it does make Taryn grow and everything like that. But I also don't like his ending. Um, I don't like, I don't. It's a children's book, so I have to take that into account, but I don't like how there's always kind of a happy ending or everyone redeems themselves, especially just like that. Um, I just I just don't like it. I don't think it's realistic. Again, this is a kid's book and it's fiction. It doesn't have to be realistic, but I don't, I mean, especially in my everyday life, I have learned, you know, it's okay not to have people in the life. It's okay not to give people second chances. It's okay some people are just not going to change or just not going to be good or just not going to see how you see. And that's okay. You just don't have to be around them. 
but for everyone to kind of be, I mean, he wakes up from being knocked out a totally different person, and there's no really explanation to that other than he had a realization when everything went wrong. I, I just, I think it's been overdone, and I'm not the biggest fan of it, but, um, I need to stop saying um in these videos, sorry. But I did really, really enjoy it. I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 5. It wasn't my favorite. I thought it took me a little bit longer to get through this one, which was weird. Very weird because I finished the first one in like three days. And I could just sit there and just read it. But for some reason, I just didn't love this one as much. Again, I might be in a reading slump. I'll get into that later. But as of right now, I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It wasn't my favorite. I do enjoy it though, but it wasn't my necessarily favorite. And that is going to be my review of The Black Cauldron. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and make sure all notifications are set to on. I do love responding to your comments, so please take a moment, leave me a comment on what you thought about the book, and what book in the, in the series is your favorite. I am on book four right now, so I'm very, very excited. And with that, I'll go ahead and say goodbye, and stay tuned for my next review.